Hey YouTube, this is Crusader7 here. So, hands down, one of the most frequent comments I get in the comments of my videos or in game are questions about the toys, consumables, and items I use in World PvP. So, in this video, I'm basically just going to go down my bars and show you guys all the toys in my toy box, as well as a few ways I use them in certain situations. Up here at the top, uh, some of my most frequently used items. Uh, starting with the Goblin Glider, the Goblin Glider Kit. Uh, these are the craftable engineering Goblin Gliders, not to be confused with the Tinker Kit from engineering. Uh, the reason I use these gliders here is because while they're consumable, they just so happen to not stack uh, uh, or not share a cooldown rather with the second item, which is the Flex Weave Underlay on my cloak. As you can see, the Goblin Glider Kit is still on cooldown, but I could parachute as well, and it's on a separate cooldown I could use whenever I want. Next, I have my uh, Vanish Macro, which is a combination of a couple of toys. And let me just find it. I have way too many macros. I need to clean this up. Uh, so the first thing it does is... Actually, there's a couple uh, redundant things or like things that are like just kind of trolly. Uh, oh, probably shouldn't type in there. Uh, the Highborn Soul Mirror and the Personal Hologram kind of spawn duplicate images of myself. Uh, so even though I've vanished, uh, there's like duplicate reflections of myself remaining where I, at the location I vanished. Um, the uh, battle banner here drops combat the ever blooming frond uh, gives me a nice heal over time so long as I remain out of combat and don't take any damage and then the drainic invisibility potion uh, activates like a stealth and the only problem is it doesn't activate in combat so that's why I'm accurate with the battle banner to first drop combat and then use the potion. So if I go over to the dummies and I'm in combat I could pop this macro and it pops, it drops combat it vanishes and I could just remove this and there's my little hologram dummies just to kinda like troll people that I'm like escaping from. Uh, next I have my tree assassins guys which not really sure why it's not working. Apparently, my garrison isn't considered outdoors. So let me just go outdoors real quick. Okay, now that I'm outdoors, uh, the tree assassin guys turns me into a giant tree. I'm not targetable. I'm not attackable. I'm effectively immune from everything for like about a minute. Usually people just stand around and, you know, you, you get a few lulls. Um... It's not really that great. It only works in Draenor. Um, yeah. So, next is the Goblin Dragon Gun. Uh, this, again, is just kind of a trolley item. It's a little, like, uh, like a flamethrower. Sometimes I pop it if I'm looking for rogues. Usually it doesn't find them, but it's just kind of trolley. I like it. Next is my... Garrison uh, Goblin Workshop ability, whatever that happens to be from the day. Right now it's a chicken. Uh, probably fitting, but you know, whatever. So yeah, if you don't already know, uh, the Goblin Workshop here for the Horde, or I think it's a Gnomish Gearworks if you're Alliance, uh, you come here every day and it gives you a random toy and a nuke, which does massive amounts of damage, which I will get to later. If you don't already know what that is. Um, next we have, let's go down a row. This is my NO macro in all capital letters. Um, it's partially toy and partially class based. Let me find this in my... So it's Cancel Aura, Hand of Protection, Divine Shield, Goblin Glider, Parachute, Avionis Feather, Deterrence, Camouflage, Hand of Freedom, and Stop Casting. I use this for a couple different classes, so that's why you got like deterrence and stuff in there. But in general, it just like 
if I'm like glidering and I need to cancel, I could cancel that and parachute and cancel that, etc, etc. Uh, it also removes freedom if I want to not have a mage spell steal that. And yeah, uh, next I have my Shieldtronic Shield macro, which also does a couple things. Um, where is this? It uses my Shieldtronic Shield, which is a craftable engineering item. It uses Dranic Rejuvenation Potion, which does not stack with the uh, Healing Tonic, or it does not share a cooldown, rather. Um, I don't really have any of those on me, but you could get those if you want. Uh, Health Stone, if I have that. Uh, Scroll of Protection, which is, I believe, an Astrian item. If I have that, I don't really go to Astrian anymore. Um... I got I have three different battle standards here that are all separately macroed here, but in general, uh, if I need to use like healing poise, it's usually because I'm outnumbered and I need to use more than just a shield. So I kind of have them all macroed into one easy to use uh, button. If I press Control C, I get like a healing banner to heal me for five percent of my maximum health every two seconds. I get my shield. I get my rejuvenation potion, which I don't think procced because, oh no, it was, it's on cooldown. So maybe it did, I'm, I don't know. But this is it right here. Uh, heals me for a lot of health, and I'm shielded, and yeah, moving on. Uh, Frost Grenade, this is arguably my most favorite toy. It throws, it's basically a ranged Frost Nova. I throw it at people, and they're frozen, or rooted in place rather. Uh, yeah, really fun throw it out of warrior uh, chasing me he's rooted punch the mage in the face or like a range class I'm chasing it's pretty awesome um, next is a high-powered bolt gun it's basically a range kick it's kind of funny to see a paladin whip out a gun and fire at someone so sometimes I use it to like shoot lobies or something get them low health kind of rattle them a bit possibly deadly but most of the time it isn't um, next for my Tinker Belt, I have a, the Mind Control Tinker. Um, it's currently called Scatter because sometimes it's the Scatter ability instead, like the little Scatter Grenade. But, I have a lot of fun Mind Controlling people. Uh, it's kind of fitting, running around looking like a bard, and like swinging sweet music to their ears. And like making them, like, join the other side for a few moments. It's kind of funny. Um, one of my favorite things to do with it is to Mind Control Enemy Priests. And the, usually the first thing they do is life grip, which has led to some pretty ridiculous results in world PvP. Uh, mind controlling a priest in higher ground to get like pulled out of melee range. Uh, when I mind control a rogue, they blind. You mind control a pally, uh, they tend to pop all their cooldowns, and sometimes they switch stances, which is hilarious. Um, or by stances, I mean seals. But yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. I like it. The scatter grenade is arguably better, but I have more fun with this. Next, we have the Drainic Living Action Potion, which is basically another trinket and a stun in immunity for three seconds. Um, yeah, it's pretty overpowered. Used against rogues sometimes, you could trinket a stun and then possibly immune their next stun. Um... It's really just a secondary trinket. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, next, I have my garrison ability. Right now, I'm in Frostfire, obviously, so it's going to be called Arms. Next is my Skull of the Mad Chief, which uh, has recently been rebound, but whatever. Um, launches you crazy fast, gives you some slow fall. Uh, I don't use it that often. It only works in Draenor. It has a cast time. The speed is pretty ridiculous, but... Really, the only time I've ever had a use for it is chasing other people who use their uh, skull first, which is really rare. Like, I, in my experience, I've not encountered many people who use it. So, I don't use it in return. It's, it's not that useful, but I like keybinding useful things. Sometimes they're useful. Uh, next is my Stealth Man 54. It's a engineering craftable. Um... It's on cooldown right now because it does share 
uh, cooldown with the invisibility potions, which I used uh, eight minutes ago in my vanish macro. Um, it's basically uh, the Night Elf Shadow Meld racial. Uh, you crouch and turn invisible, like right, right where you stand. You cannot move though. If you move, the ability will break. You do get like a short buffer where it stays for like five seconds, I think. Um, and then it like breaks entirely. Next, I have Aviana's Feather, which I will use like this. Launches me into the air with glorious fashion. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's very useful. Doesn't It is not usable in combat anymore. They nerfed it. But it's okay because I still love it. Um, partially for reasons I will get to momentarily. Um, usually right here I have a Falling Flame. But I'm currently out of Falling Flame charges. It is a rare drop in the Timeless Isle from... I forget his name. I'll throw it up on screen or something. But uh, yeah, right now I just have a temporary baby magic rooster bound there because I do not have a falling flame and it's an empty spot. So I just put that there. Next is uh, Dark Moon Cannon. Um, I used this a lot in my last video. It is pretty hilarious. You spawn a giant cannon. It drops you out of combat. You are unattackable. And after a few seconds, it launches you into the air with like a majestic gazelle. Uh, I may kill myself. Oh, crap. Okay, I saved saved it there. Um, sometimes it's useful on its own. Uh, but then other times I like to use it in combination with Aviana's Feather. Uh, because it lasts long enough, it does break you out of combat. Uh, as soon as you leave the cannon, when the countdown is finished, you are out of combat. So if I just spam, him, if I just spam Aviana's Feather, it will launch me into the air as soon as that goes off. Um... I'll do that if the cannon itself won't launch me to freedom. Because uh, Aviana's Feather does actually travel faster than flying mount speed. It's amazing. It You get out of jail scot-free every time. Next, I have this little thing. Uh, it's a little Mogu Shard. Uh, rare drop in Pandaria. I'm untargetable. Let me see if I can find it. This thing. Uh... Yeah, I'm not targetable. Um, I don't believe... I th I believe it removes the red name over my head for the other faction. Um, not sure if they patched that or not, but it, it used to do that. Uh, I still like it, usually in the like Stormwind or Ironforge or like at the other faction city. Uh, kind of hide in the corners. It's, it's less obvious uh, to see like one of these things. I'll throw up a clip or something to kind of highlight my point. But yeah, um, that's kind of a trolley item too. Uh, next is the Throbbing Blood Orb, which is really amazing. Um, more so for hunters than rep paladins. But you pop this thing, you turn into a giant leaping orc. Uh, you could travel great distances. You technically cannot fight while in this form. Um, however, you can, if you use it, when you're already in combat, then you're able to remain in combat without breaking the form. Like if I were attack, if I were to attack the dummy right now, it would instantly break my form. Um, I'll throw up a clip or something uh, with it working in combat because you you can do it. You just have to be in combat first before uh, activating it for that to work. Next is the magic banana. This is amazing. Very uh, hilarious. You stop bubble hearthing paladins by throwing a banana at their feet. It's even funnier if they're wearing a traditional banana mog. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, oh, hey, look, stealth man's off cooldown. Let me just use that. Woo, I'm stealth. I'm a, I'm a rogue, guys. I'm a rogue. I'm a rogue. Okay, moving on. Um, next is my Gnomish Mind Control Cap. Um, it's like another Mind Control, usable only out of combat. It does not have a cast time. This is what I use to snag people out of the air and pull them down to ground level where they're in range of my, uh, Booterang, like to dismount them. What I've done with it, though, is usually the Mind Control Cap 
Uh, where is it? There it is. I am blind. Okay, so usually it looks like this. And there's actually a lot of people on my server who use this toy to great effect. And it's really obvious when you run up to someone and your portrait has like a big spinny like hypnotism circle on your head. So what I've done is I've transmogged it to the cloth variant of the hat I'm wearing right now. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but at some point in like the past couple seconds, I've actually switched to wearing it right now, and you probably didn't even notice. And then when I use my Booterang macro, it equips my old helmet again. So there's really, it's really hard to tell when I switch. Of course, my health will uh, adjust slightly when I switch uh, back and forth between these mac uh, these helmets. Um, but overall, it's a pretty discreet way of of equipping it and not, you know, freaking out people and having them fly away before I'm even ready to mind control them. Uh, I already did. I list all my banners. I should list all my banners. Uh, I for there. I forgot to list them. So in my shield tronic shield macro, I have the first banner I used. It's a heal. The second banner is a. Uh, no, that's the third banner. The second banner decreases magic damage taken by 15% by for all, all targets in the group within 45 yards, 30 second buff. It's really nice, especially in big group fights when there's like lots of AoE going around everywhere. Uh, the third banner is basically a last stand. It gives everyone a bunch of health. Uh, much shorter range, not as useful, but it is the third macro in the priority list. I still like it. Uh, these all have 10 minute cooldowns. So they just kind of cycle when I use my shield macro. Like, as you can see right now, uh, my first healing banner is on cooldown. Uh, I should probably drop my health to highlight the rejuvenation potion along with this. So I'm going to drop my health a bit. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, I use the macro. Uh, apparently, my rejuvenation potion is on cooldown because I got no healing. But anyway, uh, I dropped the second banner, which is the magic banner. And then in two minutes, I could use it again, and I'll get the Inspiring Banner, a Shield, and a Health Potion instead of this banner. And it just cycles pretty well. Next, I have my Booterang macro. Um, all I've really done is I put in an equip for my PvP helmet, because I usually use it immediately after mind controlling someone down to the ground. Um, if I use my Booterang macro, because I am out of combat, it will switch my helmet uh, and then knock them so that when the fighting actually starts, I'm not gimping myself by wearing, like, less armor. I have this oddly shaped horn. doesn't really work in combat. Uh, I haven't found too many uses for it. It's just really fun to turn into a giant stomping dinosaur. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Not that useful, but it's still amazing. I should probably add that to my cancel or macro. Um, let's see, assist. This is my famous Super Saiyan God macro. Maybe not famous, but it should be famous because it's amazing. So let me just go down this giant list of things. So use 12 is my ring slot, the second ring slot. That's where I keep my legendary ring. It is fully upgraded. It will do 44% increased damage for 15 seconds to all targets or to my target, I guess. And it'll explode doing 40% or 44% of the damage I did to all targets in, within 20 yards. It is amazing. It is overpowered. And it sucks. Like, well, that's an argument. That's a thing for another video. But yeah, it's overpowered. So use Ring. Use Avenging Wrath. Use Holy Avenger. Use Unleashed Mania, which is a reward from the Highmall Coliseum. You have to become the Lord of War. And it's RNG chance to drop from the chest at the end. Increases your damage and health by 75%. Uh, it says it reduces all healing received by 100%. But this is actually wrong. It doesn't uh, necessarily do that. Um, in fact, because your health is so buffed, it almost seems like healing is disproportionately buffed. I haven't really messed with it too much to like verify that, but... You know what, let's do that right now, because why not? So let me kill myself again. Uh, before I 
uh, heal myself though. Let me see. Honey, uh, glowing honeycomb heals the user for 30% of their maximum health and increases. Okay, yeah, that doesn't matter. Use it because it's a 30% heal. It's really overpowered. It's spammable. 30% heal. You get them from Shadow Moon Valley. I'll probably put a clip on the screen so you can see where you get those. But yeah, so I am going to drop very low health. Hopefully I don't die again. Okay, Super Saiyan God Macro. And I should probably lose more health. Oh, I am slow falling. That is not optimal. Why am I not taking fall damage? This video is not going as planned. Hopefully I don't die this time. And hopefully I get to do this before the buff. Oh! Okay, I'll just throw a clip up instead to highlight what I was talking about. Because there are times when I will be at like 30 or 20% health and I'll pop a honeycomb and despite saying it heals for 30% and despite Unleashed Mania saying it reduces all healing by 100%, uh, it actually will heal me to full. So I'll just throw up a clip and try to, try, to, try to show that. But yeah, so in addition to Unleashed Mania and the Legendary Ring, uh, I, the Super Saiyan God macro also includes a Mecha Blast Rocket and I need to stop typing in my macro thing and just open up my bags this way because that way I don't break things. So yeah, Mecha Blast Rocket, it does damage. It says it does 60,000 damage, but in reality with the Super Saiyan macro, everything does scale. Wings increases it, Mania increases it, Ring increases it, and Mecha Blast Rocket can potentially one-shot someone by itself with when everything is rolling. Next, I use uh, Gammon's Braid, which is just for hilar hilarity, being a giant torrent, stomping around, global everything for potentially million or crits in the millions of damage. Uh, Pendant of the Scarab Swarm, it's a bunch of bugs, doesn't really do anything, it's funny. Burning Blade gives me a giant sword, as you saw it, like, yeah, Gammon, Gammon needs a giant sword. Darkmoon Firewater makes Gammon bigger, whereas Darkmoon Firewater. I am bad at organizing my bag space, if you haven't noticed. Where is my Dark... Am I out of Darkmoon Firewater? I should buy more Darkmoon Firewater. Anyway, uh, it increases my size. That's it. Bigger Gammon is bigger. Um, hammer of Wrath. Uh, it's pretty obvious. It throws a Hammer of Wrath when I pop my Super Saiyan God macro. It's, a less, it's one less button. It doesn't really need to be there. Sometimes I remove it, but right now it's there. Uh, Drums of Fury. Uh, it, it's Heroism. Sometimes I remove that too because it messes up uh, Frost Grenade. And I really like Frost Grenade, and I don't like it being on cooldown for long periods of time because it has a tendency to do that. But yeah, Heroism with the Super Saiyan God macro. It's overpowered. So in addition to all of that, I usually use... Um, my oh here it is this deck uh, I click it it gives me a random buff right now it gave me the void which makes me immu uh, immune to everything I cannot ki I cannot cast I cannot combat I cannot mount I can't do anything I could I guess I could dance maybe confirmed you can dance with this effect um that's actually not why I use the deck though. I use it because of two buffs it could possibly give you. One of them being Wrath. It increases your crit chance by 100%. That stacks with all the other things in the Super Saiyan God macro. The other one being Devastation, which increases damage done by 100%, which is the optimal buff you want. You can crit for ridiculous numbers. This is what I use to global 40 people, 50 people, 60 people in Storm Shield. It is insanity. You are not intended to kill a raid group as one person and then escape this yeah so it's overpowered um now that that's gone uh this is my buff macro it has a couple buffs in there if i use it it gives me quite a few buffs uh blessing of forgotten kings it basically lets me use kings in addition to blessing of might uh this comes from this drums of forgotten kings i believe this is a Leatherworking item? I could be mistaken, but I have a couple ults that I use to craft things and send them to this paladin because reasons. So yeah, Drums of Forgotten Kings, those are awesome. 
Um, Whisper of Insanity. That is this crystal. It is somewhere in my bags. Trust me. Uh, there's a crystal. You click it, it gives you a buff. It's like a mini flask. Um, the LFR stones. It uses that. Gives me 50 strength. Why not? Add it to the more, even more ridiculous damage. Um, yeah. Uh, also, what I like to use is these little tents. I believe these are also from leatherworking. You plop down a tent. You go inside. You sit. I should be eating for uh, more efficient use of my time. But for now, I'm just sitting in the tent. And it will increase my stats by an additional 10%. On top of all the other ridiculous damage that is already in the Super Saiyan macro. Um, I have the this uh, Felmouth Frenzy food. It lets me randomly proc extra damage. Which also scales with the Super Saiyan macro. It is ridiculous. Let me uh, go back to the dummies and let the damage proc. I will remove Seal of Truth so there is no extra dot damage. Can I, can I make it proc? Oh no, I put dot damage. I'm stupid. I'll t attack this guy instead. Proc. There we go. It is like 3.3 or 3.8k uh, hits. Uh, nothing fancy. It's free damage. It procs. It's funny. Sometimes it keeps people in combat. Um, Blackened Warg Steak. You eat it and it lets you track humanoids. You are a hunter. It's It's fun. The Drainic Swiftness Potion, it lets me sprint. Uh, and with this, I'm moving at 180% movement speed. This is with the Cape Enchant, and I believe Long Arm of the Law. Yep, Long Arm of the, long arm of the Law. Um, the reason I use this instead of the Engineering Rocket Boot Tinker is because the Rocket Boot Tinker shares a similar cooldown with, oh, what was it? It shares a cooldown with something. Next is my water walking macro. This is amazing. Uh, not only, or first, I have it uses the Drainic Water Wash, Drainic Water Walking Elixir, which le which lets me water walk. Um, the only problem with uh, that elixir is I cannot use that while also benefiting from the Whispers of Insanity. So I've made a nifty little macro. Uh, it's here somewhere. Here we go. Cancel Aura, Whispers of Insanity. Then use Drainic Water Walking Elixir. So if by some chance I am buffed with the Whisper of Insanity and I decide I need to water walk, I could click Water Walking and poof, it removes the buff and I'm water walking. Jesus approved. So yeah, next I have... Uh, Glowing Honeycombs, which I briefly covered already. Uh, they heal you for 30% of your health. They are uh, not... I'm trying to take fall damage, but it's not working. Um, they do not share... They do not have a cooldown. You could spam them. I don't believe they're on the global cooldown. So let me attempt to take damage again. Hey, look, I took damage. Oh, I forgot I rekeybound those. There we go, I didn't die. So I could spam these. Okay, they do have, they are on the global. But otherwise, you could spam them. Very overpowered. Next is my Crusader Banner uh, Grin macro. This actually does a lot of things. Uh, primarily, I grin wickedly, shoot fireworks, uh, and I dance. I could dance while moving, dance in combat, it's funny. Um, drops a Crusader Banner. Oh, I'm not in the chat. So I grin wickedly, win a game of Hearthstone. Yeah, it also drops uh, various insulting banners on corpses if there happens to be a corpse at my feet. Next is Sinister Spores. Um, reduces all healing by 50% for 10 seconds. Only usable on Draenor. I don't use it that much. I don't play on Draenor. Or I don't world PvP on Draenor very much anymore. Uh, the only real world PvP is in Tanan. And I don't quite care for Tanan. So... Yeah, it's bound. I can't remember the last time I used it. Um, I forget where you get these. I think they come from your Gladiator Sanctum. Like a 
random reward for bones and stuff. Next is Super Sticky Glitter Bomb. Also only works on Draenor. And, or does it? I believe they only work on Draenor. I'll have to double check that. I haven't used these in forever either. Notice the 99 uh, value. These, so yeah, these also come from the Gladiator Sanctum. They stop rogues from becoming invisible. Um, I think you could cloak it now. Not sure about that. But, uh, yeah, rogues used to hate them. They still hate them. They're pretty overpowered. Uh, my swim macro. I will go back to the ocean. I should have planned this video out. And, yeah, swim macro. It uses the shimmering, uh, actually, no, that's the just the buff. It uses swim speed potion in addition to an aquatic jewel, which is right here. Aqua jewel. Which increases swim speed by 50% and underwater breathing 10 minutes gives me a cool blue effect. It is from a rare drop in uh, the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see what else. Uh, N! N is for nuke, which does lots of damage. I hit N, I drop a nuke. It has a small countdown. When that countdown is over, everything explodes, especially when the Super Saiyan God Macker is active. Kaboom. Uh, yeah. This is my Elixir of the, the Searching Eye. Increased stealth detection for 10 minutes. Um, surprisingly uh, helpful. Especially if I know there is a rogue or a druid or... Uh... I guess just rogues or druids. The other stealth classes aren't really stealthy. So yeah, uh, you see them from a lot further range. It doesn't really work if they're behind you. But if you're running around with this as opposed to running around without it, trying to find someone in stealth, uh, you have an increased chance of finding them at a further range. And you could judge them and get in combat and mess up their opener. Sometimes it works. Most of the time it doesn't. Uh, I still like it. It's fun. My... Coffee macro. Uh, I've only used this a couple times, mostly because I have a hard time with RNG giving me coffee to begin with. But the first thing it does is it uses Sulfuron Slammers. Uh, it is a alcoholic beverage from uh, Blackrock Depths, Blackrock Mountain, Blackrock, Blackrock something. I'll show it on screen or something. But yeah, you buy these and you drink them, and they set you on fire. You take fire damage, it's five damage for a couple seconds, and the reason I do this is to uh, prevent polymorphs. If I see a mage casting polymorph on me, I can preemptively drink a, a, a slammer, and it will break the polymorph when when it's finished landing. Um, the problem is I'm usually drunk and running sloppy immediately afterwards, and that is not good for PvP. So. In addition to that, the macro also uses black coffee, which sobers me up, and I'm fine to continue world PvPing. Very convenient. So if I were to use the macro all together, it doesn't instantly make me wasted because it drinks the Sulfuron Slammer and coffee at the same time. And now I have less coffee, which is upsetting. But I guess, uh, yeah, it's for you guys. So uh, what else do I have? I have these uh, fortitude buffs. Gives me priest fortitude. Except I'm not a priest. It's handy sometimes. Um, the reason it's not macroed to the rest of my buff macro is because I can't use them both at the same time. So I just put them as two different buttons. Um, all of this stuff is pretty useless. Uh, this knife just cuts people up. This is a hearthstone. This is a heartstone. This is a heartstone. This is a heartstone, and this burns. This burns people, uh, specifically dead people. Um, goofy bard toys of various degrees. I like them. They're fun. Oh snap, I'm in combat. No wonder I can't bard. Okay, I still can't bard. Why can't I bard? 
Am I? Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Bam. Goofy stuff. Um, over here I have my mounts. Do do do. Um. Oh, this is fun. Mini Zeppelin controller. It is a Eye of Karag, effectively, but I'm not a warlock. I can spy on people, and they can't do anything about it. I can poke them with trolley abilities, and they can't do anything about it. And then I get too far away, and they can't do something about it. Um, I have a Buterang, or a Luterang to collect loot from far away. It's not really useful in PvP, but I have it anyway, because it's useful. Reverse Gravity Well, I used that earlier. It... Uh, negates or resets your fall distance kind of like a disengage it's very convenient uh, only usable outside of combat so basically falling from very high distances if you're falling uh, much shorter after immediately after leaving combat it will not save you because you it takes six seconds to leave combat um, let's see Uh, is this a banner for Tolbarad? No, it is a guild banner to block doors. That's it. Um, let's see. I have a lot. A lot of these toys are just cosmetic. Here's more banners. I like banners. As you can see, I can drop seven banners at will. Four reasons. Mostly good reasons. Um, Wand of Lightning Shield. I apply that to myself. It will, won't work here because it only works in Ashran. But that includes War Spear and Storm Shield, which means I could pop that with my Super Saiyan God Macro in Storm Shield. And the Lightning Shield will hit harder than virtually everything else I could do, except for Nuke, I guess. Uh, yeah, all you have to do is look at me funny. It will kill you. It is massive amounts of damage. Um, Scrying Rogue Stone. This used to be Keybound. I currently need a new place for it. I should probably switch it with this because it's more useful. So, let me get a higher position because it is more optimal at higher positions. So I look off into the distance with my elf eyes and I see something like Storm Shield. And I'm like, I wonder who's in Storm Shield. And I click on it. And then I realize I should buy an SSD. And then I'm looking at Storm Shield. It's, uh, it's Farsight. Except I'm not a shaman. Or a hunter. And it is very convenient. And I could continue to cast this. Over and over and over. Uh, I will go this way. Towards the fiery evil place. Where am I? Oh yeah, there I am. Uh, yeah, I could keep doing this over and over and over. And spy on people from great distances. Specifically, people with red names who I plan on killing. Um, this is food with, no, with uh, a five minute cooldown. I don't really use it. I have it. I could just heal. I wish it healed more. Um, it used to be bound. I don't have it bound anymore. It's not that useful. I need to throw it in my bank. I did use this at one point, but uh, overall, it's not that great. Hmm. If I didn't mention this in my Vanish macro, uh, or if I didn't show it, there it is. Uh, it basically heals you the full health in 6 seconds after I vanish. Uh, let me drop down in health real quick. For a demonstration, hopefully I don't die. E I died. I was not flying. Let me do this again. Okay, I should not die. Cool. So I vanish. And I'm full health. It's pretty nice. I should put that in my cancel war macro too. Um, Songflower 
uh, it's part of my Super Saiyan God macro specifically for, or it's part of my buff macro specifically for Storm Shield. Increases all stats by 15%. That stacks with the 10, 10%. That stacks with absolutely everything else for even more ridiculous damage. Um, but only really usable in Astran, uh, aka Storm Shield and War Spear for my Super Saiyan macro. Um. That's pretty much everything. So yeah, that's uh should be all the toys in my toy box. Um I'll probably be doing another video like this for Legion uh if people want it. Uh considering how many people asked for this one, I'm sure people will ask for it. But yeah, we'll worry about that when Legion comes out and when I get to look at those toys. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this helped, and uh, now you're edumacated and can go be a scumbag toy box lord world PvP god who blows up Storm Shield or War Spear, you know, whatever. Alliance could have fun too, I guess. Uh, yeah.